And of course, now is when he's gonna wanna wake up to eat. <laughs> I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you're clicking on, this is different content than I'm used to posting. I always post educational type videos. However, we've had a major life event happen and I really wanna share it with you guys. We have built such a community here and I know that we started a family channel like a year ago, but it's proving to be much easier to just stick to one channel. So for now, I am going to post this here. As you can tell by the title of this video, I gave birth to our second son, and today I just kinda wanna share the birth story with you, introduce him to you, because you guys have been along this entire journey with us, so here we go. Before I kinda get into the story, I of course have to preface this by saying, Every woman, every pregnancy, every baby is so incredibly different. All I am here to do is to share my story with you. Take it for what it is. If you'd like to share your story down below, please go ahead and do that. But for now, all I wanna do is just share what we experienced with you and then introduce you to our new addition to our little family. As you can tell, this is a very informal setting. I am just sitting on our couch. In fact, when I filmed this for our first son, I was sitting right here as well. Um, but that's kind of the reality of having a newborn. It's a lot of sitting and doing nothing and staring and feeding and tending to that. So it turns out we're gonna have to do a little bit of multitasking, but that's okay. All right, so I guess we'll start at the beginning. First things first, I will say, I filmed my entire birth story with my first son, so I will link that down below. Um, but a really quick recap, because my labors and deliveries were pretty similar. Um, with my first son, he was born at 39 weeks. For it being our first baby, it was really, really fast. I showed up to the hospital, I was six centimeters dilated. Um, I asked for the epidural, I got the epidural at 10 centimeters, and the epidural actually slow down my labor. So from start to finish, I think it was like five hours, which is still really, really fast. This time it was even faster. Um, I think I am just one of those women who, whose body is like designed to have babies. Both of my labors were really, really quick. And my mom actually had really fast labors and I know they say it's not always the same. In my case, my mom and I have very, very, very similar experiences. So this little guy ended up being born on Tuesday, August 3rd at 3.05 in the morning. Now, on Sunday night, August 1st, I actually thought my water had potentially broken. Actually, it was in the afternoon. So I called my doctor and they said, well, why don't you go to the hospital and they'll just swab you to see if your water broke. If it did break, we have to keep you. So we went to the hospital Sunday afternoon and my water did not break. However, I was already four centimeters dilated. So they were like, let's just keep you here, see if things progress. If that's the case, we'll just keep you. And in the moment I'm thinking, okay, like this is a very different experience. Maybe I'll just stay here, get the epidural, relax, have a very like, I don't wanna say not intense labor because I feel like all labor is intense, but that compared to my first experience would have been a lot more chill. However, we stayed there for a couple of hours and nothing happened. I was having like small contractions, but nothing major. So they sent us home, no big deal. Fast forward to late Monday night, technically early Tuesday morning. At 1 a.m. I woke up to a contraction. Now the cool thing about having a baby prior is you know what they feel like. There's not that questioning, that second guessing. I woke up and I had a contraction. Knowing that my first labor was so fast, I didn't really wanna mess around. I timed three of them, and just like with my first labor, they were already three minutes apart. They weren't super strong, um, but they were close. So I woke my husband up and I said, call your mom, we're not gonna play this game, um, because his mom needed to come watch our son. So he got on the phone, he called his mom, she showed up in about 15 minutes, and we took off to the hospital. Just like the first time when I showed up to the hospital, um, I was six centimeters dilated and I was having regular contractions. They were getting closer and stronger quickly. The nurses informed me, they said, I think you're still gonna have time for the epidural. Would you like one? If you would, we gotta do your blood work. We gotta get things rolling. And I said, yes, please, because I had experienced a full dilation my first time naturally and it was excruciating. So I said, sure. I did warn them, I said, this is gonna go fast, <laughs> um, just a heads up. My first labor was very fast. So that being said, uh, that is exactly what happened. Um, by the time we were all hooked up and everything, the blood work had been done, the COVID tests had been done. It was about 2 a.m. He does not want me to film this video. 
Um, and just like the last time, I started dilating really fastly. The contractions were getting really strong, really fast. Um, and there is a part in labor, which is called transition, where you dilate from eight to 10 centimeters. And it's the most painful part, in my opinion. Um, but it's typically the quickest. With Kate, it was like 30 minutes. Um, but it was the most excruciating 30 minutes of my life still to this date. With this guy, I experienced two contractions during that time. And in those two contractions, I went from an eight to a 10. And for people watching this who know nothing about labor, 10 centimeters is when, typically when you push. Now, unlike my first labor, I had the overwhelming urge to push. Um, so I looked at my doctor and I said, I have to push right now. I did not have time to get the epidural um, this time around. And it is what it is. Um, he said, all right, let's go. And within three contractions, I pushed and this little guy entered the world. So from start to finish, from first contraction to birth, it was a total of two hours and five minutes. It was extremely intense. Um, however, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience in the moments of pushing and giving birth naturally. Um, it's such a whirlwind. After it happens, you're kind of in this twilight of like, what did I just do? Um, but it was beautiful. And I never expected to have a natural birth, to be honest with you. I'm always a believer in do what's best for you, listen to your body. My first birth, I wanted the epidural. My second birth, I wanted it. I just, it wasn't a reality for me. So that being said, the recovery this time around, I have found to be so much quicker. Now, I don't know if that's because he was smaller or if it had anything to do with the epidural, um, but recovery for me has been really, really nice this time around. And I know that that is not the case for so many women. It wasn't the case for me first time around. My recovery was a lot longer and a lot more painful. But this little guy is officially one week and three days old. I'm feeling great. He's doing great. Sleep is, you know, an issue always, but we are adjusting well. Cade is doing really well. He was kind of like this in the beginning, but um, I think we're starting to hit a groove and he loves his little brother. He always gives him kisses. Um, and it's just been such an amazing experience. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know that I had this little guy. You know his name um, because I announced it there first. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow me now at Early Adventures because I tend to post things like this over there first. Um, but if you have not yet met him, let me introduce you to him now. All right, he just ate, so he's kind of sleepy. So here is our second baby boy. His name is Carson Christopher Coates. Oh, and he feels some type of way about that. Oh, shh, shh, shh. So Carson is a name that I had talked about on Instagram um, for a while. It is just a name that we both loved. Christopher is my husband's first name, um, and our son has my husband's middle name as his middle name. So we thought it was only fair Mm, that this little guy also have a middle name after his daddy. Like I said, he was born on Tuesday, August 3rd. He weighed seven pounds, 15 ounces, and he was 20 inches long. My husband and I both think he looks nothing like his older brother as a newborn. Um, for those of you who do follow me on Instagram, you know that our son is like this blonde haired, blue eyed little cherub of a baby which is interesting because my husband and I both have dark hair, dark eyes. We were very curious to see if we were going to produce another blonde haired, blue eyed, really chunky baby. And so far it seems as though he has, he has much more hair, much darker hair. His eyes are much darker than Cade's were even at this age. And I know eyes can change. Um, and his skin is a lot darker than Cade's was at this age. And he's just not as round. He's not as chunky. He's definitely skinnier. Um, so it's just very interesting to kind of compare the two. Um, it'll be interesting to see too once he starts to fill out and really grow into his features if they look anything alike. He is the most precious little thing. We are so excited. Our little family is complete. I am sorry for the informality of this video, but I really did want to just get on here and introduce him to you guys. I also want to say thank you so much. So many of you have reached out to me over on Instagram just congratulating us and sending us all of your love. We appreciate you so much. I love every single one of you and I'm so happy that you guys got to follow along on our little journey of 
not only starting, but completing our little family. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you haven't already, go ahead and make sure to subscribe. More teaching content is coming in the next few days. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.